Hello everyone. Today is the first day that we are actually trying to do some new projects with Solo on our YouTube channel. And the first project that we chose to do is an electric scooter. So you can see we bought this scooter and uh, it has a pretty nice frame. Everything is ready for us. And what we are intending to do is placing our controller Solo, Solo Uno or Solo Mini, later on we will decide inside of it and control this scooter in torque mode and speed mode and then discover various aspects in terms of quality, performance, battery usage and also maybe the user experience. Uh, here with me uh, we have Andre now uh, shooting the video. Uh, he's going to be working on the let's say the uh, mechanical side and uh, we we'll work also together on the electronics part of it with the, uh, the rest of the team and uh, the goal is to create uh, pieces of the videos of all the processes that we're gonna do and provide you, uh, let's say, the, uh, the story and the journey. Hi, my name is Andre. I recently started to work for Solo. I'm automation engineer and uh, project engineer here. Uh, today we will uh, disassemble this scooter to show what is inside and uh, to understand what's like what we are dealing with. Okay, as you can see, we kind of opened the back of this scooter up, uh, we ripped off the wires, we worked a little bit on it just to understand how it works, and now I'm going to briefly explain you the components that we see here. We see the battery here, this battery pack that is 36 volt. We see the battery coming up with the embedded uh, BMS that we can uh, see it here, the PCB, and of course, uh, the most important part of this scooter for us, the motor controller that you can see here. There are a bunch of wirings. So the wirings are uh, these. These are the wirings of the motor ha motor's half sensor that are coming off of the motor. The wirings of the phases. The uh, some uh, wirings coming off of the, the top part of the scooter from the throttle and the uh, LCD. The charger the battery and the uh, also this is the extension of the charger and this wire that for now we don't know what is uh, what purpose it serves but along the path we're going to figure it out okay so as Milad said that we have here the wires um, as you see we already did some 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 job with the scooter disassembled that and uh, tried some uh, hypothesis uh, about the wires so here we have uh, our controller solo uno yeah uh, we can clearly see that um, the 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 main power supply the two wires from the battery are coming here uh, the power supply for solo uh, the phases from the motor which are here are coming directly to this port mm, abc called them uh, the process of identifying of the of the uh, phases you can find here. We will mention it in uh, in the video. We have the uh, special video like how to identify the phases using our controller Solo Uno. Here the hull sensor already identified also and uh, connected to be able using with the Solo Uno. And um, yes, that's it. We mm, are going to play a bit with the, this controller, try to launch the, um, uh, the scooter, the motor hub, and uh, we'll see what happens then.
Okay, so here uh, we have uh, the board already connected to the whole sensor, the board power supply here, uh, the wirings of the motor already checked and signed, yes, labeled. And now we connect the uh, motion terminal and uh, the board to the uh, computer. Okay, so we have here our board connected to the motion terminal. Uh, we will try to start in torque mode, applying one amp of torque. And we see the, the motor hub started rotating. Okay, so here we can start performance monitor. Okay, excuse the position. And we have here the uh, performance of the motor. And now, to see the torque performance, as now the torque is only 1 amps, I can easily grab the shaft. So if I do that, you can see the, the torque settles down at 1 amps. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we can increase the torque to 2 amps, so you can see the torque response. Yeah, okay, let me do this. If we just increase it here amps uh -huh. let's go down okay okay great you can see now it's settling down two amps if you change the direction of rotation the sign of the torque will change okay this is the sign this is now counterclock clockwise okay you see the and here we go and changed. if i release the shaft it's gonna accelerate to the max speed and the nominal speed of the motor at 24 volts now with the supply which is around uh, 420 RPM. So now, as you saw, we could control the motor in torque mode. Actually, it's the most interesting uh, feature for the application like a scooter or e-bikes is torque controlling, but some application might require speed controlling. So for that, we can uh, uh, now stop the motor and go to the speed loop. Okay. The speed loop is working in, in a cascade form with respect to the torque loop. It means that the speed loop will command to the torque loop that controls the motor. So we have two control loops that are back to back and uh, the torque loop is the control loop that is the fastest, the closest to the motor. And the speed loop is the loop that actually commands to the torque loop. Mm -hmm. And you know, in, a, in an electromechanical system, mm -hmm. the speed is actually controlled by controlling the torque at yes. the end of the day. Yeah. So now we are in a speed mode so for the speed controller, we actually need to tune two other gains, speed controller KP and speed controller KI. The KP gain is actually defining for you the momentary reaction of the system. That here you can see it's set at 0.6. On the other hand, KI is basically deals with the uh, behavior of system during the time, especially in the steady state. So if you want to have zero error at steady state, usually we increase the KI. And KI is usually much lower than KP. Now, to see the behavior of a speed controller, please uh, put the speed reference at 100 RPM so we can see how the motor behaves and what happens. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, the speed, which is the red plot, is actually nicely uh, ramping up and settling down at the 100 RPM. I have the torque plot at the same time shown to me. The difference between a speed controller and a torque controller is, is here. When I apply a little bit of load on the shaft of the motor, the controller starts to resist by increasing the torque. You can see the torque now is increasing to 5 amps and so on. And even higher, I'm not going to stress it too much. But the speed is kind of kept at the same. And now if I release the load, you can see the torque reduces mm -hmm. and the speed settles back down at 100 RPM. Okay, yeah. We can now change the direction of rotation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And if I again apply load again in this different direction, same thing will happen. There is a momentary loss of, uh, let's say, speed tracking because of the, the load increase. But eventually the controller catches up and stays around the reference. Mm -hmm. 
I believe at 224 volt with this motor we can reach up to 350 RPM but that's not the case uh, probably we will work later on uh, most of our work will be on the torque controlling which is the most interesting part of it and uh, I believe uh, next videos we're gonna delve deeper into okay. the implication of placing the controller here mm -hmm. and maybe uh, replacement yeah. of the battery. This this part I, I will describe about mm -hmm. our uh, for the job and uh, so as I understand uh, in general the the scooter is running on a speed control. Yes. No, actually it's I I believe it's running a torque control. Okay. Because the user uh, the difference for the user in my opinion is. Once you are in speed control, the reaction is very harsh mm -hmm. because the speed controller is like a is like a controller that wants to react immediately. So probably the scooter will jump or it behaves differently. But mm -hmm. when you are in torque mode, mm -hmm. the user is the, the speed controller mm -hmm. and commands the torque to the scooter. So this is what I personally think. But we we, we probably will test both mm -hmm. and we'll understand the mm -hmm. user choose experience. the best one. Yeah, and who knows maybe. In some conditions, the speed controlling is better than torque controlling. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Got it. Okay, so here we have after disassembly um, the whole inside uh, of the scooter. Already put out the battery. Here we have the hose, six hose probably. These models are also produced with the bigger battery. Let's check. Maybe we will also increase the battery here. And another, I'd say the major thing is how to replace, to swap the controllers. We have here the mounting places and we need somehow figure out how to fix the controller here. Probably develop the 3D printed bracket and some covering to be able to use this out of the laboratory and ride the scooter okay these are the thoughts for the upcoming videos stay tuned goodbye <laughs>